Hello guys, welcome to this video and today we are playing Extraordinary Adventures and I'm going to showcase to you guys the stand called Shadow the World. So the stand I have right now is called Vampiric the World and I'm going to turn this Vampiric the World stand into Shadow the World stand. And how to do it is get yourself a camera, this is an item, this is a camera right over here and then just click it but then you need the vampire vampire the world okay you need the vampire the world to be able to turn it to shadow the world so let's test it out and then boom Ooh. oh there's particles in my body look at that it's already it's already cool when you see the particles on my body let, let's see let's see if it could kill what This is so weird. So, this stand we have right now, Shadow of the World, does not show itself. It's not like uh, uh, visible right now, but it will be visible later. So, let's test it out on this Menacing Tonio I have right now. So, Menacing Tonio, get ready because we have Shadow of the World on our hands. So first things first, we are going to do the basic attack. So the basic attack is by clicking the left mouse button. And to do that, you just need to bam, and I click what? So I can actually have distance, because it's actually the stand, which is in my body, that's doing the punching, which is cool. Dude, it's not lasting very long, so for me to be able to see it, but it's cool, bruh. This is like damage of 15 and it's... And what? I thought it was like doing double damage. Okay. Uh, it has a damage of 15 and it also like uh, pushes the enemy backwards. So yeah, that's the basic attack of this standard. And it's pretty cool what they did with this. And I kind of like it. So that's the basic attack, left mouse button, that's the big, uh, yeah, I just said that. Now going to the first passive ability is going to be like, um, the, I will regenerate uh, every, like, 2% of my health every second and my walk is like a little bit more faster from normal people, it is standless because I have this stand right here. So yeah, that's what the passive of this. You don't need to worry about anything because it is just it's just gonna come to you and you don't even you won't even notice a thing. So yeah, going to the first ability is going to be the Q ability, and we already tried it because I wanted to take my stand out, but it seems like there's no stand and the stand is kinda shy and won't show itself. So just go in front of the opponent and then shoot uh, cl uh, click the Q ability and it will shoot out this knife which has the damage of 10 and it shows this effect thingy the X effect that you actually shot it from there so it's minus 10 and it does not push okay and it's range so that's the first ability now going to the that's the Q ability now going to the E ability is going to be a super punch kinda just go near to your opponent not that near since the stand is just gonna come out of her body and then click E and then boom did it stop time what I think it also stopped time Wait, what oh it does stop times so if you're very keen eye you was able to see what damage it was oh 20 I was able to see it I have a keen eye yes finally let me just, let me just put the menacing Tonya back to its normal position so that we can see what it does there you go so that was the e the shadow uppercut and it also stopped the time which is cool like boom god because you will your the your enemy won't be able to like run away from you when you do this punch because it will directly go to them so yeah that's the e uh, ability now going to the r ability is going to be another time stop but it seems to be a little bit different. Just go near your opponent again and then click R, okay? 
So this one has a 3 damage instead of 1. It's not that powerful. It has 22. But it's very powerful for those though. It's not that powerful for me. But 22, 22, 22. If you try it one more time. 22, 22 again. 22, two, 3 times. So it becomes like 66 damage. Dude. And then the super punch like. 20 damage whoa well that was cool now going that that was the R ability okay guys it's the R ability it pushes the enemy and that does that damage now going to the next one is gonna be a range one so I don't think you the stand is gonna show up just go to your opponent and then click T okay click T and then it will be like boom laser eye what what freaking happens T on. Let me try it one more time. Boom. Does not do any damage at all. I don't see any damage. If you have, if you was able to see it, comment down below what damage it was. I wasn't able to see it at all. There was no damage that came out from this. Okay. Is it, mo is it just my fault or my, what? Okay. I'm just going to let that go. That's the... T ability it shoots like eyeballs thingy like boom turn into Superman with purple eye sh shooting thing so yeah that's the T ability now going to the Y ability this one is Superman <laughs> Superman but instead of Superman <laughs> instead of the eye it's a different so let's just go click Y so the to do this you need to click the Y so this is a Y ability and then boom to is this like a laser point to be like pointing at the people but it doesn't show what kind how many damage it, uh, it has but like just go there and then punch it and there's nothing it just like do this laser thingy like like superman but like not superman because it's in the head not the eyes there the one earlier was in the eyes though so that's the Y ability, now going to the next ability, it's going to be time stopping. We're going to time stop for 2 seconds and for that you need to click F, okay, just click it, don't hold it. So I'm going to click it and boom, time stopped and then 1, 2 seconds did it to time stop, to stop time. So that's the F ability, very simple, just that. So now we're going to, whoa. Is it true though? Let me, let me just try it because I'm very interested but I cannot use it. If you go to the Trello link in the description, they are going to say that when you stop time for like 2 seconds, you're able to use the E ability and you will, instead of throwing one knife, you'll be able to throw multiple knives. What? You know the queue where you throw the knives? You'll be able to do lots of them on the time stop. So, oh, it's true. Instead of me just, it's, oh, okay, 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 got it, got it, got it. It's in the Trello, they help you a lot. So the next one is going to be... I really don't know what this is, but I'm gonna sh I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I really don't know what it is. I just stopped and then not noticing anything. Let me just let me, let me just click it. Let me go still near it so it does if it does do any damage. Let's go and boom boom. What? What? Okay okay. No, that was H, okay? H. That's so weird. What? Okay, that's very weird. So I think you need to, like, face your opponent and then click. Let me just go near a little bit and then click H and then boom. You'll be teleported at the back of your opponent so that you can backstab them. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. So yeah, that's what the H is. 
I hope you guys understand that. Now let's go to the uh, next ability. It is going to be the V ability. What this does is teleport you while the time is stopping. So let's just go and take the courser. The courser is here and be like it's V. V. I can't do more though. <laughs> Oh, 50 range. I'm gonna try going to Menacing Tonio. Come on, let me go to Menacing Tonio. What's wrong with you? There, yeah, Menacing Tonio. Hello. See, so yeah, guys, that's the V, and it's time stop teleport. It has a 50 like r stud range. So if you wanna go run away from people, just click V, and you're gone. Disappeared. You're not there anymore. Bye bye. So that's what the V is the V ability now going to the last and final ability it's the same as the one from the cars it sucks blood and what it means is just click B but boom and then you can drag people and it's also able to like um, suck people's blood or like drain them and make them yours so yeah, that's it for this video. That's all the abilities Shadow the World have. And if you don't get anything from this video, well, go to the link in the description. It's a Trello link. And then you can just read there if you want to. And if you don't want to watch this video, well, you can just go read there. And I hope you liked this video and I hope it was helpful. But if you did thought it was helpful and you did like it smash the like button and if you want to see more videos like this well smash the subscribe button yeah so guys that's it for this video and i hope you have a nice day bye